Tuesday was a day of contrasts. On one hand, we saw the world's most important and powerful leaders gathering in Indonesia for the G20 summit. Here are some visuals from the gala dinner hosted by Indonesian President Joko Widodo for all visiting leaders. It was a magnificent event as can be seen. Here are some visuals from Ukraine around the same time the G20 gala dinner was underway. Notice the contrast? Russia carried out one of its biggest aerial strikes against Ukraine yesterday. This was bigger than the missile strikes on Ukraine last month that severely hurt the war-torn country's energy infrastructure. Hello and welcome. This is Sanbir Singh Ranhotra and you're watching First Post. Ukrainian authorities said it was another planned attack aimed at the country's energy infrastructure facilities. Kyrylo Tymoshenko, deputy head of Ukraine's presidential administration, said the energy situation across Ukraine was critical due to the strikes. Russian missiles hit energy targets all across Ukraine, causing widespread blackouts just as the weather starts getting extremely cold. Ukraine's state energy company said that emergency shutdowns for all categories of consumers have been introduced. Ukraine also revealed that the Russian strikes had plunged 7 million homes into darkness. 80% of Lviv, a major city in western Ukraine, was left without power after the strikes. Half of Kyiv was without power and the situation across the country remains grave. The latest missile strikes add to Ukraine's worries of its energy infrastructure suffering severe damage just ahead of an extreme winter season. Last month's strikes alone had destroyed 30% of Ukraine's power plants. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg had just on Monday warned Ukraine, saying Putin's aim is to leave Ukraine cold and dark this winter. Since the major missile strikes in early October, Ukraine's airspace and much of the country's northern, central and western parts haven't witnessed any Russian attacks. In between, Russia withdrew from Kherson. Ukraine felt upbeat as it recaptured Kherson city and parts of the region lying west of the Dnipro River. Ukraine is being advised by its partners in the west to not think that the war is over or that Russia will now keep withdrawing from more territories. First, this guy told Ukraine not to underestimate Russia. He's Ben Wallace, the British Defense Secretary. Then, this really important man told Ukraine the same exact thing. Don't underestimate Russia. He's Jen Stoltenberg, the Secretary General of NATO. Just two days within such warnings, Russia carried out its massive strikes against Ukraine, destroying significant energy infrastructure across the country. In trying to respond to Russian missiles, Ukraine also ended up firing two missiles into Poland, which killed two people in a Polish border village. That made the whole world paranoid as rumors of Russia having struck Poland, a NATO member state, started doing the rounds. Do you think Ukraine started celebrating prematurely? Has Russia sent a message to Ukraine with its strikes? Do let us know in the comments.